if we look at this support here, this is what we call enforce bat. And uh, its icon, the triangle here, the colored blue triangle, this signifies that in G axis, since we have three axes, X, Y, and G axis, movement about Y is released, and movement in G direction is restricted, meaning the component doesn't resist any movement about Y axis and resist movement along G direction. And the other triangle, which is colored green here, movement about G is released and movement in vertical direction is resisted. In the X direction, movement in X direction is allowed. However, the torsion is restricted. So this is the support for the truss spanning along X direction. Now, how about for truss spanning along G direction support? This would be different. So we are going to change this support, so we have to add one more support. Display the whole structure. Now it's time to renumber the nodes in the trusses support. Remember, this is the truss design model. So later on, we will detach all the components with concrete material like columns, beams, leaving behind only the trusses. That's why we have supports provided at the bottom portion of trusses. So before deleting columns and beams, let us proceed to renumbering the nodes of the seed supports. Let us isolate all the trusses first. Using node cursor, select all the nodes, go to node tools, Click Renumber Nodes. Click Yes. Start numbering from just write 10,001. Select Ascending. Then bring to the right J coordinates and X coordinates. Then click Accept. Then click OK. Press Y plus N on the keyboard to pop up the node numbers on and off. Now display the whole structure. Let us save a copy of this model in separate folder where this copy would be our model in designing of columns, beams, and footing. Next, we now delete all the columns and beams. Using node cursor, let us relocate the origin of this model.
Next, we are going to apply partial release of all web members. I would like to isolate first these four whole trusses here. Then let us add partial release specification. To do this, go to a specification in the workflow page control area. Then click beam here. Click release. Then click start. Partial moment release. Then click MP. MP if we want all direction like X, Y, and Z direction, then type 0.99. It is reflected here, 0 for full moment restraint and 1 for no moment restraint condition. Since we type 0.99, meaning 99% moment is released. But we have options here. If we intend to partially release moment along J axis only, then we can select this and type 0 0.99. Or if we want to release moment in both J and Y direction, then we can select these two simultaneously here. But in our case, let us select this, then click Add. This is Start here. Do this one more time for the end portion of the beam. For this beam here, has Start and End portion. Finally, this is now our model for truss design. In the next video, we will be designing four lens, and in that video, we will discuss the dead loads, live loads, and wind loads. So, see you in the next video.
If you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe for more videos and tutorials like this. Thanks for watching.